In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and whitelist withdrawal addresses on your MEXC account. And this can be a nice extra layer of security. For whatever reason, if a hacker gets into your account, they'll only be able to withdraw coins to your whitelisted addresses. If you're still relatively new to MEXC, I do have a MEXC step-by-step -step beginner tutorial, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. If you end up getting some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. To add and whitelist some withdrawal addresses, simply come right up here to the top right hand side of the screen, hover over your profile icon, and then select addresses and contacts from the drop down menu. That'll bring you over to this page here where you can manage your withdrawal addresses as well as whitelist them. So let's start out by adding a withdrawal address. To do that, we'll come right over here and we'll click here where it says add withdrawal address. Then you'll get a little pop-up window here where you can put in the details of that address. The first thing we need to do is click right here and select the cryptocurrency that we wish to add an address for. And we can find it in this drop down menu right here, or you can just simply search for it. I'll demonstrate by adding an Ethereum address just like so. There it is at the top, so we'll give that a click. Next, we need to choose the network type, and we can do that by clicking right here. And here's where you'll find all the available networks. And some of these networks will be less in fees than others. But the important thing here is, is you want to make sure that the network matches on both sides of this transaction. You don't want to send from one network into another network or you'll lose your coins forever. So if you're sending these coins into a hardware wallet or to another exchange or into a hot wallet, just make sure that it supports one of these networks. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and select the Arbitrum 1 network. Now we need to enter our withdrawal address. This is going to be the deposit address of the destination that we're sending our coins to. And I'll keep things nice and simple and I'll just use Coinbase for this demonstration. So I'm going to quickly toggle it into frame like so. And here's my Ethereum deposit address on Coinbase. So the first thing I need to do here is choose the correct network. So I'm going to come right down here and give this a click. And I'm going to select the Arbitrum network. Now the network matches on both sides of this. Right down here, I can see my Ethereum deposit address for the Arbitrum network on Coinbase. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this address. Now I'm going to come back to MEXC and I'm going to paste that address right here, just like so. Now, as you can see, Arbitrum network is selected on this side too. So the network matches on both sides and that's the main thing here. Now I'm going to simply give this address a name. So we'll go ahead and just type in Coinbase like so, Coinbase. And to whitelist this address, we'll check this box right here. Now we'll go ahead and click on confirm. Then you'll need to put in an email verification code in this box right here, as well as your Mexi Google Authenticator code found within your Authenticator app. To get your email code, just simply click right here and then check your email for that code and enter it into this box right here. Then do your Google Authenticator code and click on confirm. And as you can see, I've added my Coinbase address for Ethereum on the Arbitrum One network. And if you come over here on the right hand side, you can see underneath whitelist that this address is whitelisted. To add additional addresses, you just simply come right up here to add withdrawal address and then repeat the steps from there. Now you'll notice right up here that this says whitelist restriction is disabled. So what we need to do next is come right over here and click on manage whitelist. Then on this page here, come right down here to your withdrawal settings and here's where you'll find withdrawal whitelist. Simply come over here on the right hand side and click on enable. Then you get a little pop-up window here to enable your whitelist. Simply click on confirm. Then enter in your Google Authenticator code and click on confirm. Now whitelisting is enabled. Now if we come back up here to our profile icon, come down here to withdraw, you can see right here that whitelist restriction is now enabled. And now you'll see if we come right up here to wallets, click on overview. And then over here on the right hand side, if we click on withdraw, we'll come over here to select Ethereum like so. And if we come down here to the address box and click on this icon right here, here's where we can find our whitelisted withdrawal address. If we give that a click, it fills it in for us. And as you can see, it toggled to the Arbitrum network immediately. And that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you can add and whitelist withdrawal addresses. If you got some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also check out my other Mexi tutorials, which are in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.